Good morning, everyone. My name is Vicente Quesultillo, Jr. from Biliran Province State University. And uh, my co-presenter is John Antonio Romagos. We'll uh, present our research study entitled Management Dynamics of Municipal Chief Executives in Biliran Province. The background of the study is uh, the province of Biliran consists of eight municipal government units and 132 barangays. It is a lone congressional district. The seat of government is in Aval, the capital town of Biliran. In 2000 census, Biliran had a total population of 140,274, a bridge 71,259 were males and 69,015 were females. Population density was 252 persons per square kilometer. Annual population growth rate was 1.28%. Dialects spoken are the Waray Waray, which is spoken by 43.3% of the total population, and the Cebuano dialect, which accounts for 55.9%. Biliran economy is predominantly agricultural. Management dynamics refer to the techniques or process used by the local government executives to attain their goals and objectives as output of group or individual work. The municipal government executives as managers of their own local government units are mandated by the local government code to efficiently and effectively manage the programs of the government in the local government sector. For so many years, this local government had improved in their administration, which had resulted to the progress of the barangays, municipalities, cities, and provinces, even with the limited powers of the local government managers. Towards this end, local government needs to have leaders who are competent, creative, resourceful, and committed to manage the local corporation-like organization so as to be able to bring about not only progress but also develop societies which could answer the people's needs in order to be economically and politically secured. So the objectives are as follows. To determine the sociodemographic profile of the municipal government chief executives in terms of their age, sex, civil status, and educational attainment. Second, to determine the management traits of the municipal government chief executives. Third, to determine the management styles of the municipal government chief executives. Next is to determine the level of implementation of the local government programs. Then, determine the problems issues in the implementation of the local government programs, then determine the level of job satisfaction of the municipal government employees, and lastly is to determine the level of performance of the municipal government chief executives. So the methodology of the study, so the study uses the descriptive quantitative research. It developed a self-structured and standard questionnaires the study concentrated on the eight municipal government units of the province of Biliran and the respondents of the study are the municipal mayors and officials. I have here the theoretical background is the great man theory, the trait theory and behavioral theories. Under the great man theory of leadership it calls for certain qualities like commanding personality, charm, courage, intelligence, persuasiveness, and aggressiveness. While uh, threat theory of leadership identifies the specific personality traits and distinguishes leaders from non-leaders. Then the behavioral theory seeks to explain human behavior by analyzing the antecedents and consequences present in the individual's environment and the learned associations he or she has acquired through previous experience. Then, as to the results of the study, in terms of sociodemographic profile, so the respondents ranges from 
Respondents age ranges from 40 to 54. As to the sex, mostly are males. For civil status, mostly are married. And for the educational attainment, mostly have attained college degree. Then, uh, in terms of management traits of the municipal government chief executives, they have the ability to make decisions. They have the ability to assume responsibility without under strain. They are sensitive to assume human traits and reactions. They have personal habits, appearance, and manner that build and maintain confidence. They are forceful, energetic, and with perseverance. They have the ability to inspire and teach for development. They have the power of analysis and open-mindedness. They have good health and have integrity, fairness, and sincerity. As to the management styles of the municipal government chief executives, they mostly exercise democratic, democratic style now in terms of their management functions like planning, organizing, leading, and controlling. Then as to the level of LG program implementation, uh, it was rated as moderately implemented. As to the problems, issues in the implementation of local government programs, it was uh, obtained a rating, rating of seldom a problem. Then as to job satisfaction level of municipal government employees, it was very satisfied. And uh, as to the level of performance of the municipal government chief executives, uh, it is very satisfactory. Then, the conclusion drawn, all mayors are qualified to their elected positions. All the municipal chief executives possess good management traits. They employ democratic management styles. LG programs are moderately implemented. Problems and issues in the implementation of the local government programs is seldom encountered. The municipal government employees are very satisfied in their jobs. The performance of the municipal chief executives is very satisfactory. Then as to the recommendation, the local chief executives may take advantage and recognize the importance of advanced studies. They may value the importance of communication as the key to any healthy, healthy relationship. Municipal chief executives may implement programs for the good of many. They may seek feedback from constituents to solve real problems. They may empower their employees to make them more responsible. And they may strive to do the right thing regardless of popularity. So these are my references. That's all and thank you.